Every week at Grace Bible Church, we set aside a time to celebrate and remember Jesus through communion. Uh, we do this by looking at our Bibles. So if you don't have a Bible with you, we'd love to get one into your hands. Uh, there's going to be some men coming up the aisles. Just raise up your hand and they'll get one to you if you don't have one with you. And if you don't own a Bible, we'd love for you to keep this one as our gift to you. Once you do have your Bibles out, please open them up to Galatians chapter 2. Be in Galatians chapter 2 and verse 15. Galatians chapter 2, verse 15. In Galatians 2, 15 and 16, Paul writes, We ourselves are Jews by birth and not Gentile sinners. Yet we know that a person is not justified by works of the law, but through faith in Jesus Christ. So we also have believed in Christ Jesus in order to be justified by faith in Christ and not by works of the law. Because by works of the law, no one will be justified. If you look down at verse 15, you'll see that Paul referenced his Jewish background, that he was a Jew by birth. Now, Jews naturally held the law in high esteem. But as highly as Paul might esteem the law, he wanted his readers to know that nothing outside of faith in Jesus Christ... Not even the law could save them. In verse 16, Paul tells us that if we have trusted in Jesus Christ alone for our salvation, then we can be confident that through faith in Jesus Christ, we have been justified. But nothing outside of faith in Jesus Christ can accomplish our justification. God demands righteousness, as you know, believer. And because of this demand, our sins made us an enemy of God. There was nothing that we could do to assuage his wrath, but what we remember together in communion, what we remember now with this bread and this juice, is that Jesus came to earth and he shed his blood so that God might see us as righteous. God himself, the, the second person of the Trinity, Jesus Christ, was fully God, and he became fully man. He came to earth in order that he might suffer on behalf of all those who would believe in him. He died and he rose again three days later. He died a terrible death on the cross. And in his death was a glorious exchange. Our sins were placed onto Jesus at the cross. And believer, he took your sins upon himself and clothed you with his righteousness. What this verse says, when this verse says that we have been justified, it's saying that God has declared the believer righteousness. We don't deserve this. Your terrible trespasses have been put onto Jesus in his death. Your faith in Jesus Christ and what he has accomplished has saved you from the wrath of God. You no longer stand condemned before the judge. He has declared you righteous based on what Jesus accomplished. Jesus' body was crushed and his blood was shed so that you might be saved. So how, how do we respond in this time of remembrance now? With praise and thanksgiving. We must confess our sins. And we must praise God that our sins, our continued disobedience, does not cancel out the work of Jesus on the cross. Believer, when we do pass out the elements in a moment, take some time to examine your life and confess your sins to God and take time to praise him for his gift of salvation. Now, if, if you're with us and you've not trusted in Jesus for your salvation, we are very glad that you're here. Um, but you must know that God demands perfection. He demands perfect righteousness. And surely nobody here is perfect. The Bible makes it clear that nothing outside of faith in Jesus will allow us to be justified in God's sight. There's nothing you can do. There's no earthly accomplishments. There's no measure of good deeds. There's no balancing out of karma, which can save you from the wrath of God. But what we celebrate, what believers are celebrating and remembering in communion now, is that God in his mercy has not left us without a way of escape. If you don't believe, you must confess your sins to God and trust in Jesus Christ in his death and resurrection. 
His blood was spilled for those of us who believe. Believe on Jesus so that you might be saved. But if you're with us and you won't trust in Jesus at this time, we do ask that you allow the elements to pass you by in just a few moments here. This is a really special time for any believers present to remember the incredible accomplishment of their incredible Savior. Believers, take this time to confess any known sin. Remember your justification through faith in Jesus who shed his blood for you and praise him for his glorious grace. Take the elements as your hearts are prepared. Amen. Please serve us.